Hi, everybody. We're going to talk about some code rules needed when we're laying out the receptacles in a dwelling unit. And these rules are coming from the Canadian Electrical Code 2018 edition. And there's three rules that I want to focus on. This will help you in laying out your house. So 26720 is the first one. It talks about uh, what is a finished wall? When do we have to put receptacles in? And if the wall has, say, drywall, and the drywall comes up to 450 millimeters off the floor, then that wall is considered a finished wall, and you'll need to have electrical receptacles wired into it. This example might be when you're building a house and all of the exterior walls in the basement have drywall on them, then you would have to install your receptacles. But the interior walls might not be finished. They may not have drywall on them at this point and no intention to put drywall on, say the one going up stairs beside the stairway, and you would not need to install a receptacle in that one. In the laundry room, we need one for the washing machine plus one extra one in the laundry room. And these can be on the same branch circuit and that shows up in 26652B. Also in every uh, bathroom beside the wash basin, we have to put a receptacle within one meter of the wash basin and we we'll see in a another video where that one will have to be GFCI. The central vacuum system, if the home has one, has to have a receptacle dedicated for that vacuum system. Rule 26.724, this is actually um, going to speak to the spacing between electrical receptacles. And I'm talking about general receptacles here. We will look at the kitchen specifically later on. So this rule reads a bit strange. It says, so that no point along the usable wall space is more than 1.8 meters from a receptacle. And this actually means that there can be 3.6 meters between the two receptacles. So that if you have a lamp somewhere between there that the lamp cord could reach out a direction no more than 1.8 meters and reach a receptacle. Usable wall space. So this is uh, speaking to a short piece of wall and maybe a, a wall when you walk into the bedroom and the wall is very short before you hit the closet. Um, the determining factor there is is this wall 900 meters, millimeters or more? If it is, then you'd have to have a receptacle in it. If it was less than 900 millimeters, they would consider that not usable wall space and you wouldn't have to put a receptacle. A refrigerator has to be on its own branch circuit and that comes from 26652A. And then in each hallway, we need a receptacle so that no point in the hallway is more than 5.5 meters, sorry, 4.5 meters from a receptacle. And that gives you enough room or length on your cord for your vacuum cleaner so that you can reach a receptacle. 26726 tells us that at least one outdoor receptacle is required and that has to be accessible from the ground level. We can have more than that and they can all be on one circuit as long as you don't have more than 12, but you have to have at least one outdoor receptacle. And then in your garage or carport, each car space must have a receptacle. And these are, um, these are on their own branch circuit, except that you can add the garage door opener receptacle to that circuit but make sure that you don't add any lights from the carport or garage or any other receptacles onto that circuit. Thank you very much. Hope uh, that's helpful. And